Toyota, a company that started from humble beginnings and grew into a global leader in automotive technology, just revealed to the world that their new engine will wipe out the entire EV industry. We'll explore how Toyota's commitment to improvement and innovation has shaped its evolution over the years. Along the way, we'll delve into the fascinating world of hydrogen-powered engines, where Toyota is pioneering groundbreaking solutions for cleaner and more sustainable transportation. But don't worry, we'll break down the complex science into easy to understand concepts so everyone can enjoy the ride. Toyota's journey from making looms for weaving to building engines for cars is a story of always trying to do better. It's a tale of how a small idea grew into one of the biggest and most respected companies in the world. Let's explore how Toyota's engines have evolved over time from the very beginning to today. It all began with Kichiro Toyoda, who learned from his father, Sakichi Toyoda, a clever man who made weaving machines. Sakichi's success inspired Kichiro to try something new. In the 1930s, he decided to start making engines for cars, which led to the birth of Toyota Motor Corporation. In those early days, making engines wasn't easy, but Kichiro and his team worked hard and made a good start with their first engine, called the Model A. It was based on an engine from Chevrolet, but made even better. This showed Toyota's dedication to making things better than before. Toyota didn't just think about making engines. They tried out their ideas in real cars. The first cars they made were test models called the Toyota Model A-1 and the Toyota Model G-1 truck. These cars let Toyota see if their engine ideas would really work in practice. During World War II, making cars became difficult because of a lack of materials and rules about what could be made. But Toyota didn't give up. They made cars for the military and kept working on new ideas, like batteries for electric cars and engines that ran on different fuels. After the war, Toyota got back to making cars for regular people. Kichiro had a plan to make things better and faster, so he introduced new ways of making cars that save time and money. This helped Toyota grow even more. In 1955, Toyota made a car called the Toyo Pet Crown. It was special because it was the first car Toyota made entirely in Japan. People loved it, and it showed that Toyota could make cars that were as good as any others in the world. Toyota didn't stop with just one success. Over the years, they've kept making better engines and trying new things. From the Prius, one of the first hybrid cars, to engines that use hydrogen, Toyota is always looking for ways to make cars better and cleaner for the environment. In Toyota's journey toward cleaner and more sustainable transportation, they've set their sights on a special element, hydrogen. Let's delve deeper into why Toyota is betting big on hydrogen and how it fits into their vision for the future of automotive innovation. Hydrogen, often called the simplest element, is a colorless, odorless gas. It's like the Lego block of the universe, tiny but mighty. What makes hydrogen special is that it can be used to make energy without making a mess. When hydrogen mixes with oxygen, it creates energy that can power cars, just like how batteries power toys. Toyota thinks hydrogen is cool for a few reasons. First of all, it's good for the Earth. When cars use hydrogen, they don't spit out dirty stuff like regular cars do. Instead, they only make water, which is super clean. That means less pollution in the air and a happier planet. Hydrogen is everywhere, like invisible treasure, hiding in water and plants. Since there's so much of it around, we can use it without worrying about running out. Moreover, it works like magic. Hydrogen-powered cars are like wizards. They turn most of the hydrogen into power for the car, which means they can go a long way without needing to stop. Just like filling up a regular car with gas, you can quickly fill up a hydrogen car. It takes only a few minutes, so there's no waiting around like with electric cars. Hydrogen is a clean fuel because when it burns, it doesn't make harmful gases like CO2. It's like lighting a candle. It makes heat and water vapor, but not smoke. This makes hydrogen a great choice for making cars cleaner and better for the planet. Now, you might be wondering how hydrogen works in an engine. Unlike electric cars, which use a chemical reaction to make electricity, Toyota's engines burn hydrogen directly, just like gasoline engines. This means the hydrogen mixes with air inside the engine and burns to make power. The only things left over from this process are a little bit of engine oil burned during driving and some other gases like nitrogen oxides, but these are much less harmful than what comes out of regular engines. But how does this new engine perform? 
Toyota has made some changes to a regular engine to make it work with hydrogen. They've made a special tank to hold the hydrogen at high pressure, and they've changed the fuel system to put the hydrogen into the engine. This makes the engine very quick to respond, meaning it can go faster or slower very easily. They've even tried it out in racing cars, and it worked really well. The fast burning of hydrogen makes it great for going fast in races. So where can we see these new engines in action? Toyota has been trying them out in race cars like the Corolla Sport. These cars have special engines called G16 EGTS race engines that run on hydrogen. They've shown that hydrogen can be a good fuel for racing because it burns quickly and makes a lot of power. This shows that hydrogen can be a good choice for all kinds of vehicles, not just regular cars. But Toyota's goals go beyond just making better cars. They want to help the planet too. They've set a goal to become carbon neutral by 2050, which means they want to make no more carbon emissions than they can take out of the environment. Using hydrogen engines is one way they're working towards this goal. They're also working on making hydrogen in a cleaner way and building places to keep and use it. Toyota thinks that hydrogen can play a big part in making transportation better for the planet. By using hydrogen instead of gasoline or electricity, they're making cars cleaner and better for the planet. They're also showing that it's possible to make engines that perform well without making the air dirty. So by putting together the usual design of regular engines with the good things about hydrogen, Toyota is not just changing the way we think about cars, but also showing us a new way to a cleaner and greener future. In the exciting journey towards cleaner, more eco-friendly transportation, Toyota's hydrogen-powered engines are emerging as champions for the environment. But what exactly makes these engines so special in terms of helping our planet? And how do they compare to other environmentally friendly vehicles like hybrid electric cars? Let's take a closer look at the green advantages of hydrogen engines and see how they stack up against traditional gas guzzlers and electric hybrids. First things first, what makes hydrogen engines stand out in the environmental department? The key lies in their emission profile. Unlike regular gasoline engines, which release a hefty amount of harmful carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, Toyota's hydrogen engines produce absolutely zero CO2 emissions during their operation. Yes, you heard that correctly, zero. Instead, they only emit water vapor, making them true heroes in the fight against air pollution. But how exactly do they achieve such eco-friendliness? It's all about the way they burn fuel. When hydrogen fuel ignites in these engines, it combines with oxygen from the air to create energy, with water vapor being the only byproduct. This process is completely different from burning fossil fuels, where carbon reacts with oxygen to form CO2. By eliminating CO2 emissions from their exhaust pipes, hydrogen engines are leading the charge in reducing pollution. Now, let's compare them to hybrid electric vehicles and plug-in hybrids. While HEVs and PHD EVs are certainly more environmentally conscious choices, running on a mix of electricity and gasoline, they still produce CO2 emissions during their gasoline-powered phases. On the other hand, hydrogen engines offer the promise of truly emission-free driving, as long as the hydrogen fuel is produced in a sustainable manner. Consider also the overall impact these vehicles have on the environment throughout their life cycle. HEVs and PHEVs come with batteries that require rare materials and energy-intensive manufacturing processes. However, hydrogen engines bypass these challenges altogether. Producing hydrogen fuel, especially when sourced from renewable sources like wind or solar power, can be much gentler on the environment compared to battery production, offering a more holistic green solution. But what about their performance in terms of efficiency? Surprisingly, hydrogen engines perform admirably well in this department. They match the efficiency of traditional combustion engines and sometimes even surpass them. This is particularly important in heavy-duty applications where hydrogen engines can rival the efficiency of fuel cell counterparts. While fuel cells excel at low loads but struggle at higher ones, hydrogen engines thrive when faced with demanding tasks, making them a preferred choice for power-hungry applications.
Can a hydrogen-powered engine really keep up with its gasoline-powered counterparts in terms of how well it performs? Surprisingly, the answer is yes. The key lies in how hydrogen, as a fuel, works differently. When hydrogen burns, it does so much faster than gasoline. This fast burning means it can respond quickly, something that's very important for performance driving. But how does this quick burning affect how it feels to drive? In a regular car with an engine that runs on gasoline, drivers are used to a certain level of performance. When they press the gas pedal, the car responds right away, the engine makes a particular sound, and they feel like they have a lot of power. What's interesting about cars with hydrogen-powered engines is that they can do all these things too. Even though they use clean fuel, drivers of Toyota's hydrogen-powered cars can still get the same driving experience they're used to with regular cars. This includes the sound of the engine, which many people who love cars really enjoy as part of the driving experience. Now, you might wonder if these cars can perform well in racing. Toyota has tested this in racing events, where cars have to work really hard. By using cars with hydrogen-powered engines in these tough races, Toyota has not only shown that its technology is tough, but also that it can be used for high-performance driving. In these tough races, cars with hydrogen-powered engines have shown that they can compete with regular racing cars. They can go just as fast, turn just as well, and last just as long. But what about power? Can cars with hydrogen-powered engines have as much power as regular cars? Toyota's work on cars with hydrogen-powered engines has shown that they can. By changing regular engine designs a bit so they can use hydrogen, Toyota has been able to make cars that have just as much power as regular cars, and sometimes even more. This isn't just a big deal in terms of technology. It also shows that hydrogen can be used as a fuel for fast cars. But there's still one question left. Can cars with hydrogen-powered engines be just as fun to drive as regular cars? This is something that's hard to measure, but it seems like they can be. People who drive Toyota's cars with hydrogen-powered engines say that they're just as fun and exciting to drive as regular cars. They feel like they're driving a regular car, but they know they're using clean, sustainable fuel. By making cars that have the same performance as regular cars, Toyota is making a link between the cars we have now and the cars we'll have in the future. Whether you're driving to work every day or racing on a track, cars with hydrogen-powered engines promise to give you the same great feeling you get from regular cars, while also helping the environment. With their ability to keep up with regular cars in terms of performance and their eco-friendly features, cars with hydrogen-powered engines are ready to change the way we think about cars and driving. Let's take a closer look at one of Toyota's remarkable accomplishments in this field. The 1.6-liter three-cylinder turbo engine featured in the Corolla Cross hydrogen prototype. This engine represents a fusion of conventional design and innovative technology, setting it apart from typical internal combustion engines. The 1.6-liter three-cylinder turbo engine is truly an engineering marvel. It shares its platform with the engine found in the GR Yaris, a vehicle renowned for its exceptional performance and maneuverability. However, transitioning to hydrogen fuel required substantial alterations to the engine's design and operation. A fundamental question arises. How does Toyota maintain the engine's performance while transitioning to an entirely different fuel source? The answer lies in the combustion process specific to hydrogen. Unlike gasoline, hydrogen demands distinct handling and combustion methods. The engine incorporates a high-pressure hydrogen direct injection system, a departure from conventional fuel injection systems. This system enables precise control over hydrogen delivery into the combustion chamber, optimizing both performance and efficiency. But how does this affect the engine's overall performance? Remarkably, despite the transition, the 1.6-liter engine manages to deliver power and torque figures that rival those of gasoline-fueled engines. The turbocharger plays a crucial role in achieving this, ensuring the engine receives the necessary boost for high-performance output. However, turbocharging alone may not suffice to address the unique characteristics of hydrogen. One of the challenges with hydrogen is its low density compared to gasoline, requiring a larger volume of hydrogen to generate equivalent energy output. 
Toyota's engineers have confronted this challenge directly, optimizing the turbocharger and other engine components to accommodate the distinctive properties of hydrogen fuel. Another fascinating aspect of the engine is its efficiency. Hydrogen combustion engines have the potential to achieve higher efficiencies, especially under high load conditions, compared to traditional engines. This increased efficiency translates into better fuel economy and, more significantly, a substantial reduction in emissions. Since the only byproduct of hydrogen combustion is water vapor, the engine achieves nearly zero emissions, positioning it as an environmentally friendly option, as Toyota charts its course towards a future free from carbon emissions. Its approach is far from narrow-minded. Instead, it's a diverse blend of both hydrogen and electric technologies, reflecting a nuanced understanding of the complex challenges ahead. Why has Toyota opted for such a multifaceted strategy in its pursuit of carbon neutrality? The first pillar of Toyota's strategy is its unwavering commitment to hydrogen technology. But what makes hydrogen so appealing? The answer lies in its potential as a clean energy source. Whether used in fuel cells or internal combustion engines, hydrogen emits only water vapor, presenting a green alternative to fossil fuels. Toyota's dedication to hydrogen extends beyond just passenger vehicles. It encompasses commercial vehicles and public transportation solutions as well. However, Toyota recognizes that relying solely on hydrogen technology may not suffice in achieving carbon neutrality. Hence, it also embraces EV technology as a complementary approach. Battery electric vehicles are a crucial part of Toyota's strategy. Yet, what distinguishes Toyota's approach from others solely fixated on EVs? Toyota's diversified strategy acknowledges the current challenges hindering the widespread adoption of EVs, such as limited range, lengthy charging times, and the environmental impact of battery production and disposal. By offering a spectrum of powertrain options, ranging from hydrogen fuel cell vehicles to PH EVs and BEVs, Toyota aims to cater to diverse customer needs and driving conditions. But how does this diversified approach contribute to the broader goal of carbon neutrality? Toyota understands that different regions and markets have distinct energy sources, infrastructure, and environmental policies. Hence, a one-size-fits-all approach may fall short in reducing global carbon emissions. In regions with abundant renewable energy, BVs might emerge as the most sustainable option, while in areas where hydrogen production can rely on renewables, fuel cell electric vehicles and hydrogen-powered internal combustion engines could play a pivotal role. Moreover, Toyota's commitment to carbon neutrality extends beyond merely addressing vehicle emissions. The company actively participates in initiatives to minimize the carbon footprint of its manufacturing processes, promote recycling and efficient resource utilization, and invest in renewable energy projects. Yet, one might wonder, is this comprehensive strategy sufficient to achieve the ambitious goal of carbon neutrality? To grasp the full impact of Toyota's approach, one must consider the broader context. Transitioning to a carbon-neutral society necessitates not only advancements in vehicle technology, but also transformations in energy production, infrastructure development, and consumer behavior. Toyota's multi-technology approach, coupled with its holistic sustainability initiatives, represents a concerted effort to tackle these multifaceted challenges head-on. As Toyota sets out to explore the world of hydrogen engines it faces both challenges and exciting possibilities. But what exactly are these obstacles and how do they shape the path towards transforming the automotive industry? The first big challenge for hydrogen engines is infrastructure. Right now, there aren't many places where you can fill up with hydrogen. Unlike the many gas stations and electric charging stations we see, why is this such a big problem? Well, hydrogen is quite different from gasoline or electricity. It needs special places to store it and special ways to move it around because it's very light and can catch fire easily. Building a lot of hydrogen stations that are easy to use will take a lot of money and a lot of planning. But if we can make it work, it could mean big changes, like using cleaner fuels and not relying so much on things that harm the environment. Another big challenge is safety. Hydrogen can be dangerous because it can catch fire easily. So, 
Toyota has to make sure that its hydrogen cars are really safe to use. They're working hard to make strong containers for the hydrogen and smart sensors that can tell if there's a leak and stop accidents from happening. But it's not just about the cars being safe. Everyone who uses them needs to know how to handle hydrogen safely too. That means teaching people how to use it without putting themselves or others in danger. And that's going to take time and effort. Even with these challenges, the potential of hydrogen engines to change the way we drive is huge. But what makes them so exciting? Well, there are a few things. First off, hydrogen engines, like the ones Toyota is working on, could mean cars that don't produce any pollution. In a world where pollution is a big problem, this could be a really important step towards making things cleaner and healthier for everyone. Also, hydrogen engines could offer a driving experience that feels just like driving a regular car. They could be just as powerful and fun to drive, but without the bad stuff coming out of the tailpipe. This is really important because a lot of people worry that electric cars won't be as good as the ones we have now. But if hydrogen cars can be just as good, it could make it easier for more people to switch to cleaner cars. Toyota's recent venture into water-powered engine technology marks a big step towards eco-friendly car solutions. But what exactly does this initiative mean? And what's the science behind this futuristic technology? Let's break it down. A water-powered engine. It might sound like something out of a sci-fi movie, but Toyota is turning it into reality. The main idea is using water as a fuel source. But how do you get energy from water? It all comes down to water's chemical makeup. Water, scientifically known as H2O, has two hydrogen atoms bonded to one oxygen atom. The trick to unlocking water's energy lies in separating these hydrogen atoms from the oxygen. This is done through electrolysis, which involves passing an electric current through water to split it into hydrogen and oxygen. So why is hydrogen such a great fuel? Well, hydrogen is a high energy fuel. In Toyota's water-powered engine, the extracted hydrogen is used as fuel in a combustion process, similar to traditional gasoline engines. But unlike gasoline, burning hydrogen only produces water vapor as the main byproduct, which means no harmful emissions. This makes Toyota's water-powered engine a really attractive technology for the environment. And Toyota's serious about it too. They're filing patents related to water-powered engines, showing their commitment to developing and protecting this new technology. But bringing water-powered engines into real-world cars has its challenges. It involves developing efficient electrolysis systems, safe hydrogen storage, and engine designs that can handle hydrogen combustion. But Toyota's got a strong track record of innovation, so these challenges can definitely be overcome. Toyota's Vision for Sustainable Transportation Toyota has a clear vision for the future of transportation, a world where getting around is sustainable, efficient, and doesn't harm the environment. But how does this vision match up with with global goals and what might it mean for the electric vehicle industry at the heart of toyota's vision is sustainability that's why they're looking into hydrogen and water-powered engine technologies these technologies have the potential to significantly reduce greenhouse gas emissions and pollution tackling some of the biggest environmental problems we face today in wrapping up toyota's venture into hydrogen-powered engines signals a significant step toward a cleaner automotive landscape by tackling hurdles with creativity and dedication, Toyota sets the stage for more eco-friendly transportation choices. With a strong focus on innovation and environmental responsibility, Toyota encourages us to envision a future where sustainable mobility is the norm, ensuring a better world for all.